Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations. A viewer of my video on slot antennas asked me if I'd ever heard of a Vivaldi antenna and could I describe uh, such an antenna. Well, the answer is no and no. <laughs> so, so what am I making this video for about a Vivaldi antenna if I don't know anything about it? Well, one of the purposes is to let you know and remind you that I am an old timer and there are a lot of things that, that I have never heard of that are newer designs. So I looked it up on Wikipedia and it gives the basics in rather technical terms and then a bunch of references uh, just about all of which to me seemed pretty much useless so but uh, I then entered the term in Google in the Google search engine as a phrase Vivaldi antenna you know you can find the spelling in the title of this video I'm not even going to attempt the phonetics <laughs> I, I'm, I'm too scrambled upstairs to even sh be sure I can spell the bloody word correctly. But um, if you uh, will you, uh, enter it as a phrase in the Google search engine, you will come across a wide variety of also quite technical videos and articles about this type of antenna. My understanding, though, my limited understanding, is that it is primarily intended for ultra-high and microwave frequencies. Uh, it is used often in radar applications. It produces uh, linear polarization, that is, either horizontal or vertical or slanted. Uh, and it's a very highly directional antenna. Uh, at, it's impractical to make a Vivaldi antenna very large just because it would require huge pieces of sheet metal. For example, an 80 meter Vivaldi antenna would probably measure so, you know, something like uh, 200 feet squared. I mean, you know, or, uh, 50 meters squared. Huge, huge uh, piece of metal. But it's practical to make it out of foiled printed circuit board material or smaller pieces of sheet metal. Uh, they sometimes call it a tapered slot antenna. Uh, and uh, you can take it from there. And my question then for you is, have you used a Vivaldi antenna? And if so, what has been your experience? So I'll leave comments open. Please keep your comments on topic and don't put active links in them. And let us all know because I'm pretty stupid in a lot of ways and Vivaldi Antenna is one of them. But at least I'm smart enough to tell you to ask you what you know about them and if you've had any experience with them. Let us know, share it with us, make a little video blog out of this. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 for now. And so long, which, in my native fist, even on a Vivaldi antenna, would always translate to Da 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 da.